guy fucking crowd spamming. Dude. Hello guys and welcome to the Battlefield Time Plays episode 8. As always, if you like the video, make sure to like it and hit the subscribe button for more. We're starting off the top plays this week hot with some Focus BF, twitch.tv slash Focus. As always guys, links to the players in the description below. He's got the AK-971. He's jumping around. They're all He's over doing a bunch place, of tricks man. that yeah, um, not many people honestly do, it. but Focus manages to implement them flawlessly into his gameplay. Um, those were all very, very smart and intelligent revives by those players, and uh, Focus agrees, so he rewarded them by killing them all. Um, just very, very good accuracy, as always, for Mr. Focus. Very good movement. Second clip from him as well, Lockers. It's that guy with a mic I flick on you and never miss a single bullet. Has to chill out a little bit. He's very low HP, but jumps out regardless. Looks lower. Gets a magnum oh. collateral for his troubles. So, you hate to see it. Next clip is from Mr. Savon Jenky. M60E4 lockers. Holographic sight. Classic flank situation. He's freaking the fuck out. Oh my god, he gets knifed, but no he doesn't. Because his teammate saves him. That's pretty lucky, but hey, he makes it work. Excellent clip here. Good job, Seven Janky. Next clip is from Ye Old Chief, and this one's pretty special. This is a clip of seven plane kills in the same round, and he didn't miss a shot. Very nice shooting from Mr. Chief there. Next clip is from Nustaya, M1683 Grand Bazaar. Huge flank. Very, very nice accuracy. I think he, I think he's playing stretched. Uh, I've always liked the way stretched looks on Battlefield 3. But these people are completely oblivious, and he takes full advantage of that. Really bad revive from this guy. Sick hit reg, Battlefield 3. Hey, 10 hertz, but still the best Battlefield game, so no one cares. Hits this guy with a little dome piece, doesn't matter, because he just shakes it off, but... Hey, very nice accuracy. Classic Grand Bazaar flank. Really just honestly does all the work. Doesn't need his team. Next clip is from Junda. Longtime supporter. He's got the Grease Gun. Operation oh, Underground. Very deadly combination. One of my favorite combinations in the game. The Grease Gun just allows you to stay a little more hidden in Operation Underground. Um, Operation Underground is really not a friendly map in close quarters, so any sort of advantage you can get, um, especially taking away damage indicators when you shoot people, is a uh, very massive advantage. It's already killed eight or nine people here, so they have no idea where he is, especially when he's shooting him. This guy, I mean, you know, he's, we'll, we'll just assume that he didn't have his hand on his mouse or whatever, but Jenna just takes full advantage of it. I hate when people get in these apartments here. They're very, uh, once you get in here, you're very hard to get out unless you make a mistake. And uh, Junda does not make a mistake. And they push me. Next clip is from our Daw friend, Mr. Shivers. Starts it up hot with shooting a grenade in midair. Hey, go back to the respawn screen, sir. He's on Almars with the ZK 383. I've never seen this before, ha! <laughs> but pushing forward here. I like the way he plays around this smoke here. He, uh, he knows that he can just jump the gap and catch some people off guard, especially on these little walls here. That was good. Good game sense there from him. Continue to move forward. Shoots that, uh, shoots that vehicle for, I mean, just to make sure it won't kill him. Honestly, I would have done the same thing. I I've been killed by fucking bushes in this game, so I would, I would shoot the vehicle as well. Gets on top of the little area here, drops down in the arch. Unfortunately, he does get taken down from behind, but... Good effort, nonetheless. Next clip is Jordy, Operation Underground again with some Tommy gun. Really nice little slide movement in here. Nice target prioritization and situational awareness from the console competitive god himself. Very, very well played. 
eighty tickets. Okay, there's like three hundred people on there. Okay, I killed a decent. Next up is from Mr. Act Kyle. Pushing one of the hardest sectors to push in the entire game because DICE doesn't know how to make maps. This is Al Marsh, first sector breakthrough. He's hitting him with a little weird ADS FOV off ZK, which is basically just saying, Yes, DICE, I would like more recoil. Thank you very much. But he makes it work, taking down a bunch of people for his team. This is a very difficult area to play in. So, well played there. Next clip is from Lady Kerberos. Operation Underground again. This is a very Operation Underground filled episode, but she has a Suomi. She's in the smoke. Danny Phantom in the fucking smoke. Taking people down. Stabbing people. Left and right. Getting that 50 mag loaded back up. She gets shot in the back, but it doesn't matter. She turns on that kid. Turns on another kid. These people have no idea what's going on. Just, oh my god. Just, just fucking get away from me. Just get away from me, people. Last but not least, Spasmore. Operation Underground, Suomi again. Same area as, again, always. He reloads an invisible magazine into a Suomi. Good job, Dice. Nice invisible skin there. Very nice accuracy in this clip. Very well played from Mr. Spasmore. And as always, guys, make sure to check out the player's links in the description below. A lot of people don't realize that um, even in these videos where people send in nuts clips, like... No one ever goes and checks out the people that hit them, so I like to emphasize that a little more. Make sure to go check these people out. They produce content on their own channels. But appreciate you guys watching. Make sure if you didn't, drop a like and subscribe for more. I will be pushing out Battlefield 6 top plays for sure when that happens. So I've been Enders, and I will see you guys in the next video.